Walker Hancock of Claiborne Farm joins me now. Walker, at any sale, we talk about the war fronts. He's your flagship stallion. Tell me how he's doing. Uh, he's doing great. He's ready for the uh, uh, 2017 breeding season, which starts here in three or four or five weeks. So uh, we're anxiously awaiting that. And uh, he's doing great. You know, we're hoping for another big year from him. Um, I, I don't see why he wouldn't, uh, uh, um, you know, expand on the great year he's had last year. So. Are you seeing a lot of international interest in his horses the more and more they perform on the racetrack? Yeah, you know, he uh, he won those two big races at Ascot a few years ago, and ever since then, his international presence has been huge. And, um, you know, obviously, Coolmore has been very big supporters of him, and we're appreciative of that. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's big here and internationally, so he's a worldwide sire. A couple of young sires for you, Orb and Data Link. They'll have two-year-olds this year. How are those horses looking, and what are you expecting from them? The Orbs have been selling great. Um, we're very pleased and hearing great things about them. And so is the Data Links. You know, he's obviously uh, a cheaper sire, um, but he's doing well, as, um, and we're looking forward to watching his two-year-olds run. You have two new stallions, Run Happy, a horse that had a real big following, and then Ironicus as well. How are they taking to the process in approaching their first breeding season? Yeah, uh, we'll get them started here in a few weeks. And uh, they're doing great. Uh, they settled in, uh, gaining weight, uh, turning into nice-looking stallions. So uh, we're thrilled, and their books are filling up. So uh, they're off to a good start. First Samurai, one of yours as well, already becoming a sire of sires as you have Lee. What are you expecting from Lee? Yeah, well, his first foals are hitting the ground here in a few weeks. We're really excited to see what those look like. He's such a good-looking horse, and uh, we don't see why the foals will, uh, won't, won't look uh, like him as well. So uh, if they do, he's in a good spot. What's this time of year like for you at Claiborne as you approach breeding season? Everything's just kind of ramping up. It's always nerve-wracking, really. I mean, uh, we have 138, I think, to follow the farm this year. So uh, we'll be very busy doing that. And on top of uh, having 10 stallions breeding, covering close to 1,000 mares. So this is uh, about to be our busy time of year. But uh, we're, we embrace it. And, you know, it's, it's always fun to see the foals born. And uh, the stallions are doing well. So it makes it easy. Good luck at the sale and good luck in 2017. Thank you. Appreciate it. Walker Hancock of Claiborne Farm.